and I'm making a Millet porridge or Hausa kuku is one of the favorite and accessible breakfast dishes for many Guineans. Made from a mixture of grounded millet and other local spices, the porridge is usually enjoyed with other pastries like kusi. But what was once the cheapest breakfast meal on the Ghanaian menu is now an expensive luxury. Alima to Sadia sells at Bomso and has been in the business for the past two decades. <laughs> At first, we used to package the cocoa with kose at 10 cities, but now it's selling at 15 cities. That's how much you pay to get a satisfying meal. Once the normal five cities, and the normal so five cities. Some of them need mint here, and no tomatoes. When I just add no sand or so. Millet is a household grain used for many delicacies in Ghana, especially in the northern parts. Its gritty texture adds a satisfying feel when processed into Burkina, a local millet and milk smoothie. But the snack is also seeing an astronomical rise. Person on the way. This used to sell at three, four, and seven cities. But because the price of millet has shot up, they are selling at ten cities and five cities. We no longer sell at three cities. The increase in cost of the meals is attributable to price surge and scarcity of its major ingredients, millets and beans. The price of the commodity on the market is seeing a 120% surge from 500 cities to 1,200 cities. Haja Munira explains the increase in costs. Last year, by this time, we had be a number of 5 million. And I see you 12 million. Last year, a bag of millet sold at 500 cities, but now it is selling at 1,200 cities. The exchange rate is our headache. The millet is not the only increasing commodity. The beans used for the fritters added to the Hausa cocoa are now shooting up. Al Haji retails beans at the Alaba market, but his shop is almost empty after the tracks of beans he is transporting from neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger were hijacked. The communities we import from aren't safe. We are sometimes held up at the checkpoints for days, and when we return here, most of the commodities will be spoiled. Olonka of beans is now selling at 65 cities, and a bag goes for 2,100 cities. Back at Alimatu's cocoa joints, some of her workers are leaving the job, which serves as a daily source of income. She's no longer able to pay them an adequate wage. Most of my workers have left now. Many vendors along the downstream of the value chain are anxious for respite from the skyrocketing prices. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Bratskweku.